Well, theirs is a world like you've never seen before. Goth is all about dark music. It's about symbols of death and even dressing like vampires, right down to the fangs you see here. Tonight, UPN News 13 investigates LA's goth scene from the, from the clubs to the cloths to the creepiest of collectibles. Tammy Taylor is here right now to tell us what she found. Tammy. I found a lot of interesting <laughs> stuff there, Alan. You know, it is a controversial and hard to understand phenomenon. Why would people obsess about death dress up like vampires and keep dead things around the house. It's about ghoulish nightclubs and music. Music that critics call vulgar and morose. Music that some say feeds an obsession with death and suicide in young people. Distraught parents appear on national talk shows. This would give you a headache. Desperate to see their teenagers change. While their adult counterparts hang out in places like the Fang Club, adorned in vampire makeup, elaborate dress, black hair mostly, and fangs. Hers are permanent. Welcome to LA's underground gothic scene. For most of these people, this is a once a week costume party. A fun sort of self-expression. But for some, gothic is a full-time lifestyle. I'm also a professional and lifestyle dominatrix. Shady, who's at the fan club tonight with fellow dominatrix Sabrina, lives and dresses the part all the time. Except her fangs are removable because they're inappropriate for her straight job as a makeup artist. Can I touch it? Huh? They're sharper than my dog's teeth. <laughs> yes, they are. Do you bite people with your fangs? I do. But mine are very sharp, so I have to be very, very careful about how I do it. Shady describes her look as ethereal and romantic. It feels natural. I'm very comfortable in this, and I think that it's a form of expression. It's very vampirish. Yes, it is. It's very morbid, yes. This store is very morbid. A lot of those in the gothic scene shop in places like this for home decor and accessories. It's called necromance. The reoccurring theme is death. Coffins, coffin jewelry, bats, spiders, old um, funerary memorabilia. Here you find bones of every kind, including human skulls, dead animals. This is a freeze-dried rat. Another nice gothic symbol. And I also have bottled bats. Bottled bats. Now that's an item. And people like these dead things. Sure. My house is full of them. Why the obsession with death? Peter Thomas, who sells gothic and fetish clothes on Melrose, says it's not a suicidal thing at all. They romanticize death, but they're not willing to like partake in it, but they like embrace it and they don't really have a problem with it. You know, they see it as something romantic rather than something uh, depressing. Fantasy plays a big part of it, too. People go from their regular jobs, some of them, executives or whatever, into being a kind of dark-sided, um, getting to more of the mystery of what life is, and wanting to wear something that brings that out. Terry King is one of Goth's top clothing designers. Dressing the likes of rock star Marilyn Manson and many others, she says the look has a heavy Renaissance influence. She calls it eloquent, almost hedonistic clothing. It's like a lot of corsets and a lot of velvet and a lot of satin. And it's a lot of work getting into this stuff. You can't get dressed by yourself. No, you can't. It's part of the fun. Dressing to go out is practically a ritual. Wigs are like part of the deal, too? Yes. Well, it's a different look, huh? I think I look better in blue hair than I thought I would. Do I look like myself? No. <laughs> I guess that's the idea. Yes, you look a different that's self. It's a different self. Which brings us back to all those different selves at the fan club. Fire! Special effects artist Gavin Decker, who makes fangs, says it's just like Halloween once a weekend. There's something perfectly all right about things like Halloween and dressing up and being spooky and scary, and that's fine. It's that's, fun, it's just fun. It's just fun for the most part. And how do people get to like this particular type of fun? My mother was a big fan of vampire movies and horror movies. My mom uh, uh, started me off on ghost stories and horror movies, and I think I just took off from there. 
Nice to know you can always blame the mother. <laughs> well, does it look scary and threatening? Yes. Is it dangerous or harmful? Well, it doesn't seem so. These are really nice people. Nice people who just like to do their own thing. Bottle bats and your blue hair. Huh? And my blue hair, right. <laughs>